And here we are, the battle for the bronze medal is just underway here, or well, a bit of a full start between the GIO New South Wales Gladiators in the white shirts and the New Zealand team, the Kiwis, involved in the national titles. The GIO National Wheelchair Rugby Championships, Juro Sen and George Hux in commentary here. We're just waiting to get underway. Bit of a false start, George. Yeah, mate, the calm before the storm. So <laughs> uh, back again and get it happening. All right, so players underway. No Riley Bat for New South Wales tonight. He, of course, is the superstar of world wheelchair rugby and uh, sadly missed today by New South Wales. And it's the Kiwis with the ball and heading right up towards the goal line Maybe and they score the straight away. Yeah, yeah that first control, tip off 13, and then Dan score. The goal scorer there. Just ease into the game, get things flowing. This isn't only about third and fourth, this is Australia New Zealand. That's right, they bring a lot of passion. Now this is the top team from New Zealand, isn't it George? It's pretty much their uh, developing national team and they're trying to go to some of these regional tournaments and build back up for the big stuff. Alright, so there's still a lot at stake here. This is the playoff of third, the bronze medal. Of course we've had a lot of action leading up to this and uh, I guess you would have seen a few of the battles leading into this. Who do you think is going to uh, hold the bronze medal at the end of this? Yeah, Queensland probably have the firepower with, with a little bit more national representation. The Victorians uh, are the other half of the equation and uh, I imagine it'll be a fair battle for gold. Right, let's follow away there with the ball, cruising through the middle. Here comes a contact, but the ball oh, gets nice away. Off. Wonderful pass from pass here, and there Simon Bartlett. New South Wales Gladiators leads to a goal. You've got pace, that's one thing, but you've got to set up the play. Here they go now. Yeah, Barney to his friends, he's uh, the turn of pace and he's a powerhouse coming in to the new um, New Zealand national team. Yeah, but he's, uh, he's the next guy off the rank, he's got the wheels, got the power, and oh, oh. very nice play New Zealand. Cross, finds a target, but Another turn over. That was a great hit. Yeah, Barney using his uh, pace and manoeuvrability. Pretty fierce, fearless game this as well, you, and there's no place for the faint-hearted on the court. As we see Connor Farisi with the ball again, in command in the centre. Taps on the pace, but he's met by good defence. Gets the ball away though. Yeah, that was great half-court play, and luckily they uh, got, to got out of it. But uh, nearly had him on the line for a turnover. And yeah, that was uh, Buckingham with the goal. New South Wales with the ball. Connor Farisi there, great D. He needs Trying that block. Yeah. All right, so with 5.34 on the clock in the first quarter, it's 6-1 in favour of New Zealand. Dominating so far. And it's the man in 14. Kind of yeah, nice dominating. in down. But that's a good, good sign there by the New South Welshman. And a great goal there too. And Number Bartlett. 11, Simon Bartlett for the Across GIO. Across for another New goal, South so 6-2. Makes it 6-2. New Zealand, New Zealand over New South Wales. Conor Farisi in some traffic. Lobs it over the top. Finds his target way out in front, and that's Buckingham across and for another goal. goal. To number 13. Very nice. All right, they're away down to the left. Bartlett finds his target in the middle. Defence comes across oh, now back very to Bartlett. Nice. Oh, that's Beautiful nice work. goal. Good move, eight. ball, ball movement. Andrew Kept Edmonds the ball moving. Number 11. Connor Farisi now. Yeah, there's a free run. Good decoys as well, and there he goes, scoots away, just puts on the pace when he needs to. All right, there he is, from Farisi, gets the ball away, up to Buckingham. It's that initial shock and awe that gets you. They can't catch Buckingham, and he goes over easily to score yeah. another goal. goal to He's our premier three-pointer in the world Dan for Buckingham many years, Dan scorer. Buckingham. is uh, a complete player. All class so far from the Kiwis, it's 9-4. Yeah, this had a loose ball. Now they're in trouble. They need to pick that ball up and call time out before they lose it. Heavy be traffic oh, there. Yeah. Ball goes forward, pass halfway. Picked up beautifully in the end. It's the man of the moment in Bartlett. Bartlett still with the ball. Defence comes at him. Spins, offloads. Palmer. Palmer the captain yeah. and coach. Oh, spills the oh, ball, he'd be ball. disappointed. Gets it back again. Good turn, timeout. Let's see what they can do. Bartlett gets get... the ball in. 
they need to get Barney out of the equation. Edmondson, it's heavy contact, very but gets well it across played. and very well played very indeed. Well played. And that's Bartlett with another goal. There was. He was in the right place. They worked together, made it happen. Well, they played that well. There was the stop in play, and they just got themselves together, gathered their tactics, and got the goal. But here's the uh, Kiwis in action now, and it goes to that man, and he's untouched out front. And Conifer Risi through again. All right, so let's see what uh, Curtis Palmer can do. Yeah. Very experienced. All the player. way to goal, very experienced. And here he goes. Oh, big contact. Makes it a pass, almost made it past halfway. Gets it across to Palmer. Good hands by Palmer. Oh, no. Throws it forward. And oh, big the... contact at the back. He needs to blow the whistle. When the player's down in front of the play, once they've turned again, that's a dangerous situation. They need to stop the play. All right, so fresh start here for the Kiwis. And Connor Farisi, he's Having just too good. That, it's a lot easier oh, to start. Oh, big stack nice in the middle. Hit. And in back play, it was all happening. But uh, Connor Farisi scores another one. He's a 3.5 player for New Zealand. And it's 14-6 to New Zealand over the GIO New South Wales Gladiators. And moving on now is New South Wales. Let's see what they can do. Holloway. Comes down oh, the right hand. good wheels. He has. Oh, yeah. over the line. Not happy with it either. Slams say, the ball into it. Unfortunately, uh, won the race but lost the war. <laughs> and it comes out to Andrew Holloway. Let's see what he can do this time. Tries to get outside. And through he goes. Yeah. Just a little tap at the end. Nothing <laughs> dramatic. Uh, a lot of courage. They came around the inside and squeezed through. Now you've got to get uh, you've got to get a, nut, a part of the chair across, but it's important to get the, the front two wheels. No, as long as you've got two wheels like, across the line, yeah. so so it can be back wheels or. And front that you're wheels. not upside down at the time, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> well, but I'll argue that one. Yes. <laughs> All right, and uh, in control of the ball now is uh, Taylor. Taylor gets the ball across past the opposition. Finds his target, Rob Hewitt. He's a rookie. Quarter almost up. They've got trapped with the ball. Will they go for it? Over the top. And... Goal scored last second. Just over. And it is the New Zealanders leading the GIO New South Wales Bays by 17 goals to 7. OK, about to resume action for the bronze medal between the New South Wales Gladiators and New Zealand. And we've got eight minutes to go before the halftime break, and it's 17 7 in favour of New Zealand. Pretty much the national team playing against New South Wales, so I don't know if that's entirely fair, but it's good practice anyway. Here they go, and a great oh, break up the great middle by Andrew wheels. Holloway. <laughs> He's almost gone out of the stadium. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was doing a lap of honour, mate. It was, uh, it was great, great set of wheels. Well, if you ever wanted a good start to the second term, that was just perfect. Well, caught Come the Kiwis. Out, get your team pumping. Caught, got us all going as well. Kept it, got the Kiwis by surprise. And now the New Zealanders looking to hit back, and they do immediately. All right, here they go again. And Simon Bartlett, clear run shuts down for him. See if he goes through, and he does. Great work by Simon Bartlett. That's bucking him with the ball now. One-hander finds his target. It was Taylor, and Taylor then finds his target further down to Hewitt. And Hewitt sneaks across for another goal. Safe hands, just waiting for the cleanup. And the Kiwis with the ball. Taylor finds support. And they do it quite easily. Taylor gets the ball back again. But so uh, Curtis Palmer having a good impact here in the second term for New South Wales. As the Kiwis take the ball up the court and through Buckingham. Gets a bit of traffic, Buckingham. Runs into his own player. A lot of heat put on there by Holloway. Can't get it though. Over the top again to Taylor. Taylor meets Palmer. Palmer shuts him down, but he gets it away eventually. And through it goes to Dan Buckingham for another goal for New Zealand. 22-12. So Barney, Connor Farisi doing it easy. Wonderful skills, great to watch. Now it's uh, New South Wales. They trail 25-16.
And this is a quick and easy goal to retaliate with. And uh, Andrew Edmondson. This should be an easy goal. He dummies. Bounce pass. Oh, what an intercept. Great timing. Beautiful work by Clayton Utia. He took off at the right time just to get that pressure as the ball was being received. And New Zealanders score again. All right, so uh, George is 30-17 now. Uh, a little bit of a blowout happening. Let's see what New South Wales can do. They haven't scored for a while. And here comes Palmer on the burst. It's all clear for him. Will he go straight through? Yeah, untouched. Great speed. So it's 31-20 in favour of the New Zealanders. 49 seconds on the clock. Another one to the Kiwis. And 32-20 is the score. 4.49 on the clock. This second term. Play to continue now, and up the middle, Edmondson. He had to call the timeout. He was caught on the halfway line. Would have lost the ball if Dan could have got him back just that little bit more. Uh, it was a great call, saved a turnover. Strategy and quick thinking. Got to have it all. Sometimes um, players don't like to use that timeout because you, it, they think it looks like a weakness, but uh, you live to fight another day, and that's what it's all about. Edmondson, looking for that someone. Ball in. Does finds Ackland, Ackland over the top, back to Edmondson. Did that very well, great interplay, good goal, well played by New South Wales. Buckingham playing it right down. Will he go through? Will they score one right at the end? So it's 33 21. Played the clock very well there on that occasion. And there it goes. So after the first half here in the bronze medal match, it's the New Zealanders leading New South Wales Gladiators by 33 to 21. George Hux, quick thoughts on the first half. Yeah, look, as we as we saw, the, the shock and awe of the first quarter basically set the table for the game. And um, from there, look, you know, New South Wales steadied and... and uh, got their self back offensively into the game. Unfortunately, defensively, you know, they're still struggling to get that stop. They just don't have the extra wheels. All right, George, thank you very much. So that's uh, the half-time score here. It's 33-21 in favour of New Zealand. Two. Bronze medal match between New Zealand and the GIO New South Wales Gladiators here at the GIO National Rugby Championships. And I'm here with George Hux in commentary. And it's the New South Wales team in possession as we begin the second half. They trail 33-21. And that's a good start. A moral captain, victory. The captain going across the line, Curtis Palmer, for the first goal of the third term. And here come the Kiwis on the break. Chase comes. Good defence. Big Very hit. Nice hit. Wonderful stuff. He's aggressive, that Andrew Holloway. Great to see. And it stops the charge a bit there by New Zealand. Good work. They're forced to react now. Aggressive defence to start this term. You'd be happy with that, George? Yeah, absolutely. Just Palmer shutting it down. Working hard. The leader showing the way. He was be running out of time here. Here comes the push. Oh, he sneaks through. Palmer at the back. The challenge comes to him, but beautiful pass Very off nice the deck. Nice. Simon Bartlett with the goal. Taylor comes out to the right. Some good D and obstruction running there. Taylor again. Bartlett comes at him. Can't do him. And over goes Taylor. And here come the Gladiators now. This one's used the wheels through Andrew Holloway. He's been nice and aggressive. Pushes his way through. A little gap there in the end as the challenge came. Drive it Taylor. all the way home, mate. Drive it all the way home. Beautiful work. Nice and determined. He's a rookie, of course, and he's already looking like a player with yeah, big send future. Send a little message to a national team. <laughs> all right. Now, here come the Kiwis again, and that's through Taylor. 
and the defence can't, but they can't stop Taylor. He was powerful there, across the line, perhaps on the pace. The defence comes at him, but he gets away. Oh, big challenge, big arm put out there by Taylor, but he resists that challenge. And Palmer goes up the middle oh, and a badly needed nice. goal. Coast to coast. And... Oh, very well done. And here they go. Got Here's the Palmer. Got the turnover. Twist gets it away. It Finds his oh, target. No and will he get over? And eventually he does. That's Brett Ogden. Yeah, reliable little Brett Ogden. There to finish off some good work. Great work. Always good to see the gladiators get across the line. Going backwards, great skill. Oh, he's back on the court. Uh, when I saw that, I thought, oh, who's this, who's yeah, this dude? Yeah, here we go again. <laughs> and it was uh, Connor Ferrucci who gets the ball away. <laughs> and there he is again with the ball. Uh, Connor Ferrucci, uh, outstanding skills now. Let's see who he's going to set up for this time. He's going to take it himself. Looking for Am I? Sides, no. I'll take that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a play. Oh, Palmer, the big challenge coming from Connor Ferrucci. And he gets the ball and picked up beautifully in the end there by Ogden. Ogden under pressure and down he goes. Oh, Ogden. A lot of courage up there, but he's hit the deck. Yeah, it's a spin from behind. You've uh, got to be a little bit careful when you give him a tap from behind. and. It doesn't take a lot to uh, to get someone over. Am I? Heavy contact, but gets the ball across, and that's that man, Bonifarisi, over the goal. And Am I there? She's getting stuck into the uh, contest, and it was good work too. But it's come clear again to Connor Farisi who just claps on the pace. Look at him here. Total focus in getting that goal, and there was no stopping him. Yeah, they put themselves in a bad situation in the corner. They need to keep themselves out in the open court as much as they can. He's Only just taking just, his time. Yeah, just soak up the time, keep the guy in the bin. They've got control. They've got all the players on the court. And down goes the clock. 15 in the term. Playing a few games here. Eight seconds. And with four seconds left, three seconds, two seconds left, he goes across. Okay, so we're just about to get underway again in the uh, fourth turn. George Hux joining me, Juro Senate commentary. The third place playoff between the GIO New South Wales Gladiators and New Zealand. And it's 46-30. New Zealand is in control. Yeah, they, they, they said it early, and now they just want to probably finish off their good work and make sure they uh, you know, keep control in this last quarter. New South Wales will probably go out and chuck whatever they can at them and uh, take out of the game whatever they can. All right, so here we go. 46 plays, 30. Eight minutes to go, uh, and the ball spilt. Connor Farisi not happy with the decision on that occasion as Curtis Palmer, captain coach, gets the ball away yeah, by the target. The and the challenge coming hard and fast there by the Kiwis. But Andrew Edmondson controlling the ball. Midcourt gets through. Nice evasive work. That's a great goal. That was a very nice goal. Brilliant work. Andrew Brilliant work. Edmondson, <laughs> take that home and bank it. All right, so now it's New South Wales with the ball. And through their captain, Curtis Palmer. Gets the ball across, and finds him again. Off. Andrew Edmondson. What a great passage of play. That's just, they got it up and they got kept going. All right, let's see if they can do it again. Get another turnover. It's 46 plays 32 in this last quarter. They're putting the heat on the main man, Connor Farisi. But they can't stop him now. They'll pretty much concede this goal. Too easy. And uh, Big Barney, Connor Farisi. 47-32. Oh. 
And the long ball goes down and picked oh, up by Edmondson. Nice what rugby. a quarter he's had. Very nice rugby. All right, and playing against this guy's a huge honour, and he's just brilliant. Look at the skills there, and oh, he started sideways, skidding across the line. Connor Farisi with another goal for New Zealand. Yeah, two of the greatest things in rugby is playing with these guys and against these guys. You know, they just lighten the game up. Yeah, great rivalry, Australia New Zealand, and great to see that on a oh, Bledisloe weekend. Yeah, very well done. Good work there by New South Wales, and here's Palmer up the middle, and he'll scroll across there for the goal, and it's 49-34 in favour of the Kiwis. All right, so play to continue through the main man of the yeah, moment. Yeah, Barney's got that under control. Got a Farisi with another goal. They've hit the 50 mark. Yes, I think we'll be saying that quite a lot for years to come, mate. 50 goals to 34. Got him wait for help. Got in the front court. Well done. All right, great work. He's had a really good quarter. Edmondson. There's a lot to like about this New South Wales team. Top. Oh, Palmer was heading for it, but couldn't quite get it. And it's the Kiwis in possession now. That's Hewitt. Keep the pressure on the ball there. Hewitt, eventually the ball goes to Conor Farisi. He uh, settles the play down. The experience coming to the forward. Look at the pace. Look at the skill and the evasion. Brilliant work. Another goal to Conor Farisi. And this one guy, I've been really impressed with Andrew Holloway. He's been terrific today. Got the ball, almost coughed it up, but great skill of regather. He's heading towards the line now. Hit some heavy defence, but he's been really impressive, George. I've enjoyed watching him today. Yeah, it's a, uh, a rookie with quite a lot in their bag, I can tell you. Great aggression. Ball's coughed up. It's a very technical dark game at times, and unfortunately for me, I'm a very untechnical person, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you learn by your mistakes over time. Oh, great hit there by Conor Farisi. It allowed uh, a great run to the line by Dan Buckingham. So, good teamwork. All right, so it's uh, the Gladiators with the ball. Let's see what they can do over the closing three and a half minutes. And that's uh, Andrew Holloway. That's it. Use his block. Now he can go. Beautiful work up through the middle, over halfway, towards the line. Passes it brilliantly, and a great goal there by Simon Barber. That shows guys that have played together for a while home in their gym, you know. He knew where he needed to go, and he knew he was going to give him the ball in that situation. With two minutes on the clock, it's uh, 56 place, 38 in favour of New Zealand. Been treated to a wonderful display by the Kiwis. I'm going to take the bronze medal here. At the mm, GIO work his way out of trouble. And here he goes, Dan Buckingham, in and away, quick bounce. And right on the 12 seconds, across the line, timed it to perfection. That's experience and skill, pace, he had it all. 56, or 57 now, pace 38. 140 on the clock now, as the Gladiators make their way over the halfway mark. And here's Holloway, it's speed on. Shuts that down. Does Conor Farisi. Spills it. Found a whistle here. But play to continue now. Long ball to Andrew Holloway. Puts a pace on. Pressure there. Ah, oh, fantastic. Hit from behind, but over he goes. Kiwis with one last shot at it. 27, 25 seconds on the clock. Yeah, safely in the front court. Still got time. Connor Farisi. Is he going to go straight over? There, why not? Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you try to wind it out to the last second. I think they're trying to get turnovers just to finish it off on a high. All right, here we go. Use your wheels, mate. Holloway racing the clock now. Over the top it goes. But it's going to find Buckingham. One hand, no, on top of the cone. Yeah, just kept the player off of the ball and gave him no chance to get out again. 62 plays, 40 
in favour of New Zealand. Great place to practice with six seconds and try to set it up and get that last score. All right, Connor Farisi, what can he do? Can he score in the last couple of seconds? Time out. Yeah. <laughs> it's called time out and it's almost at the same time as the final whistle. And they're looking up at the clock saying, no, yeah, <laughs> didn't quite make it. So 62 goals to 40. Victory to New Zealand over the GIO New South Wales Gladiators. They have finished third in the GIO National Wheelchair Rugby Championships. George Hux, deserved winners of the bronze medal. No doubt, no doubt. They did the job early. Um, it was a great game in the end. New South Wales were fantastic coming back the way they did, but we all knew the outcome pretty early, but it was good to watch. All right, thank you, George. Got plenty more action coming your way, but wonderful result. 62 goals to 40 in favour of New Zealand over the GAO New South Wales Gladiators.